Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ani Zahira Binti Azman. Today, I would like to present about network configuration for devices using Kuja software on Kotiki operating system. MQTT stands for Messages Queuing Telemetry Protocol, which was created for low bandwidth. The protocol uses Publish, Subscribes, Communication Architecture, making it simple to transmit orders as well as to read and publish data from sensor nodes. MQTT is an excellent solution for wireless sensor network with changing level of latency. Lastly, this protocol is used for machine-to-machine -machine communication and it is important on the Internet of Things, IoT. MQTT protocol surrounds two subjects, client and broker. MQTT broker is a server while the client is the devices connected. By looking at this figure, publisher publish the message and user subscribing to the topics. Then, subscriber subscribes to specific topic that relevant and as a result, they receive all the messages produced on the topics. The typical MQTT architecture can be divided into two main components, client and broker. Client can be either as a publisher or subscriber that always creates a network connection with the server or broker. It is capable first to publish messages for the user who are interested. Second, to receive messages, subscribe to the topic that interested, third, to unsubscribe, and lastly, to separate from the broker. Second, broker. Broker responsible to receive all messages from the publisher, screening and determine who is interested of the topic, and transmit it to the subscribers. It can accept requests from clients, user messages received, process various requests as subscribe and unsubscribe, also transmit them to the user after receive the message from the publisher. MQTT session is divided into four stages, connection, authentication, communication and termination. First, connection. A client begins to connect by establish the TCP IP connection with broker via port. Second, authentication. Authentication. Clients validates the server certificate and authenticates during the handshake. The client may also hand over a client certificate to the broker during the handshake. The broker can utilize to confirm the client's identity. Third, a client can conduct publish, subscribe, unsubscribe, and ping activities throughout the communication. Publish operation transmit binary block of data to the publisher topic. Lastly, when publisher or subscriber want to end the MQTT session, it shuts the connection after sending a disconnect message to the broker. This is the proposed network diagram. The proposed system has one publisher, two subscriber, and a broker. Let's continue with the implementation. This is the Contiki OS system. To start the Kuja simulator, you need to go to the terminal and then do some coding. So, run the coding to open the Kuja simulator.
Okay. So this is the dashboard of the Kuja simulator. Create our new simulation. By default, I just make it by default my simulation and then create it. So as I mentioned just now, that we have a broker, a publisher and two subscriber. So first thing first, we need to add the mode. First mode, we make our border router. We browse it. And then go to the example, IPv6, RPL border router and click border router.c. We compile it and then we create it at mode. Just one mode. So view mode ID. Mode type. Okay. So next is a publisher. So we go to the app mode and sky mode. So the second sky mode is a publisher. Browser. Check for the MQTTS and Kotiki and you click main call. You compile it and create it. So one publisher. Okay, next is subscriber. Create mode type sky mode. So the third sky mode is our subscriber. So the subscriber, same as a publisher, main call. Compile it and create it. Number of modes is two because we have two subscriber. So how to define the position is Whenever you reach the position here 100%, so this is the correct one. Okay, just like that. So the server connect with the publisher, publisher connect with the server and the subscriber. Our subscriber is connect with the publisher. Next is, we need to make our server, say the socket server, listen to the port 6001. So make it start. So the status here is listening on the port. This is because we want our server connect with the client. So go to the, ter the terminal and make some, we do some coding. So here, it shows that our server has connect with the local host which is 127.0.1.1. As we can see here in the, our simulation, the serial socket server has connected successfully with the 127.0.0.1, the local host and the status is connected with the client. So this server has successfully connected with the client. So let's make our broker broker that we use is rsmb so we need to make our some coding here So we can see that uh, our protocol MQTT have been listened with the port 1883 and listening to port 1884. 
and the broker that use is RSMB really small message broker. So we done with the broker, we can start our simulation. So we can see here, it initialize and it connect with the register and then it subscribe. So we can see that here, our server connect with the publisher and publisher send the data to the subscriber to subscriber here. And the message that sent here is so this is the uh, messages hello at addr address 0303 and others messages here this is the messages so this is the result that we get after we have done the uh, we have set up the publisher and the subscriber also the broker so the the server you can see now that it connect with the publisher and then to the subscriber so in the log we can see that this connection has successfully registered on the entire simulation here so any messages that uh, go through uh, to the publisher the subscriber here listening to the publisher then it will get those message with the inquiry protocol so here lah this is the message that the subscriber received from the publisher so this shows that this shows how the uh, MQTT works when the message are, are published to the topic that can be designed this message subject to the uh, subscriber by the publisher. As a conclusion, the publisher and the subscriber pattern is used by the MQTT to connect interested in the parties. The publisher send a message to call the topics with many subscribers who are eager to receive it. Publisher and subscriber are self-contained which means they do not need to be aware of one other reasons. So, that's all from me. Thank you.